What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and this is going to be a tutorial on Vector3.Magnitude. A vector's magnitude is basically the length of that vector, meaning the distance between its origin and its endpoint. The origin in this case being 0 on x, 0 on y and 0 on z. The formula to calculate a vector's magnitude is x multiplied by x plus y multiplied by y plus z multiplied by z. Keep in mind in this scenario there's only one vector we are talking about so both the z values and both the y values and both the x values are all from the same vector. So once you've got the result you calculate the square root of that result and that is your vector's magnitude. Now if this formula seems a little confusing don't worry uh, further on we are going to use it practically and then you might understand it. Alright, so what we have here is an empty scene. We are going to add a cube to this scene and set its position to 0 on x, 0 on y and 0 on z. Next, add component, uh, add a new script and call it, you can call it whatever you want, I'm going to call it magnitude 03 and open this up in mono develop. All right. Now, above public class magnitude 03, type execute in edit mode. Uh, don't forget these square brackets, both opening and closing. This basically means that we don't need to play the game in order to see our vector's magnitude. Next, create a public float variable called mag. And then in the update function, type mag equals transform.position.magnitude. That's it. Save the script and go back to Unity. As you can see, the value of mag is 0. That is because our cube is on 0 on x, 0 on y, and 0 on z. Let's change these values a little bit. Let's set x to, say, negative 3, y to 6, and z to 2. As you can see, the value has changed to 7. Let's use the formula that I showed you earlier and see if this value is accurate or not. Keep in mind this is a float value, not an int, so it can actually have decimal places after it. Alright, so let's use this formula and see if the magnitude shown over here is correct or not. First, x multiplied by x. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 will give you positive 9. Plus y multiplied by y, that is 36. Plus z multiplied by z, that is 4. And then you just sum up all these values. That's going to give you 49. And now open up your calculator type 49 and click the square root. As you can see, the value is correct. Another way to get the magnitude would be to use the vector3.magnitude function. So vector3.magnitude and within the function you enter transform.position as the parameter. Hit save, go back to unity and you still have the same value. Feel free to move the cube around anywhere along the x, y, or z axis. You'll see the value changing each time you move uh, the cube anywhere in 3D space. So this is how you use Vector3.Magnitude. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Do check out these other videos as well. The video on the top left teaches you how to create a 2D Mario style enemy patrol. The video on the top right teaches you how to create a parallax scrolling background and in the bottom left is the make a 2d platformer game series playlist I'm also accepting donations so if you would like to help me out you can send your donations to my PayPal email address which is mentioned on the screen and in the description down below don't forget to like share and subscribe leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time this is what they say
Yo, started out with nothing, then I turned myself to something. Everybody wanna claim a nigga when they hear you buzzing. Don't nobody wanna claim you when they hear you bugging. Not known to tell stories, not known for fronting.